Hello everyone, SunshineX here. This is a ComputerCraft tutorial with the 1.4 update for ComputerCraft, all involving new turtles. Today we're going to discuss the uh, melee turtle, the one that can go attack and get experience for you, and as well the crafting turtle, and as well as a couple bug fixes and changes that made ComputerCraft 1.4 really awesome. Okay, so... The first thing I wanted to show is I made this little farming turtle a lot better. I was kind of just putting it together at the end of the last tutorial, made some mistakes, so I took some time to write a nice program and uh, show you guys that first, uh, with what's possible with some of the new um, getting items from inventory with the suck command and the drop command. So uh, basically we have three chests. Uh, we're going to have a seed chest, a bone meal chest, and a wheat chest. So. Uh, seeds, you really just need to start it off with just a couple. Um, I use 16 because you'll see somewhere in the code where I say just make sure there's always 16 seeds in the turtle. So easy to get 16 seeds to start off. Okay, bone meal you're going to have to supply. Uh, we have a cool exchange that's really easy to do. Uh, but if you have a cool exchange, why are you farming wheat? <laughs> so. Um, but anyway, you could uh, get this from a mob farm or however you're generating your own bone meal. You can do that. Uh, but I'll just assume that there's a near infinite supply of bone meal. And our output will be the chest in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and start him. You'll see that in the first slot he's got seeds. In the second slot he's got bone meal. Everything else is empty except for the last slot has a chest. And I use that for a nifty little trick which I'm going to... Uh, show you when I look at the code. So we're going to go ahead and just type farm and you watch the turtle. He's going to turn to the seed chest and grab out some seeds. He's going to then turn to the bone mill chest and he grabbed out a stack of that. There he went. And look, there he goes. Now he's going to start planting the seeds and harvesting them with bone mill. And he's just going to keep doing that until he runs gets down to one seed left in the first slot. And that's pretty key because uh, turtles can only compare to things they have. So if they ever run out, then I can't really say find seeds. It doesn't know what seeds are unless it has at least one. So now that it's run out, it's going to go to this one. It's going to try and grab some seeds. And there is none in there. So I think that's a small little bug in my program. Okay, now I've found them. It's going to turn toward the uh, the bone mill and it dropped uh, the extra bone meal in there and it put its wheat in this guy. So, let me put a few more seeds in here. Let's get at least 16. So I guess you kind of need a stack to begin with, just the way that I coded this. Um, but, I mean, in, in a couple iterations we're going to have a multiple stack of seeds, so I don't really have to worry. Okay, so he's almost out of seeds here. Let's just help him along. And he's going to say, okay, I'm out of seeds. So he's going to turn to the seed chest, and he dropped them in, and he got the extra ones. He's going to turn the bone meal chest, and then the wheat chest. It's the final one, and he dropped the wheat. And now he's going to turn back and start harvesting again. Are you going to go? There he goes. So he will now pretty much do this until you run out of bone meal. We should get all our wheat in there. So it's really cool. So I've shown a few concepts. I've shown the ability to drop items to compare how many you have um, and to select you know, certain inventories so that we uh, just kind of sort out the items that we have. So we always get seeds in here. We always get bone meal in here. And any wheat goes in here. Okay. So that's how it works. Uh, let's show you the code because that's probably what you're interested in. So I'm going to terminate out of here holding control T and uh, let's go to the code. So again, I'm writing this externally. You can always write this inside computer craft. It's just easier when doing a tutorial to show you guys in an editor because I can copy paste. I can scroll up and down real fast. Um, but for all your needs, especially if you're on a server, you're going to have to uh, write this inside the interface for computer craft and the turtle. Anyway, so I've got a comment up here, and that's just uh, r reminding me when I'm writing code which direction's which. So the forward is the farm that he's actually planting in. The right side, when he turns to the right, is where the seeds are. Behind him is where the wheat is, and to the left is the bone meal. So um, 
I wrote out some helper functions to help me turn the direction I need to go. So the face farm is that little interesting one, and that's where that chest comes up. And that was in the 16th slot, was a chest. So I select that slot, and then I'm going to compare what's in front of the turtle to that slot. So if he's looking forward and he sees that farm or he sees a, a wheat, he's going to say, oh, that's, uh, that's not a chest, so I'm going to return false. And if he's looking forward and he sees a chest in front of him, he's going to go, oh, that matches, and I'll return true. And that's what the case we want to do. So he's going to do turtle.compare, and if that returns true, meaning he's facing a chest, just turn, and then keep doing that. So as soon as he turns enough times around until he's not facing a chest, it's going to end in that time, and then we know we're facing the farm. Uh, to get to the other three, it's really easy. I just face the farm and then either turn right, turn left, or turn right twice. Pretty easy, right? And there's something, you know, to make it a little more efficient, I could say, well, if he's, if I've already turned right, and then to get to the bone mill, I know I need to turn right twice rather than going all the way to the farm and then back. Um, but that was just too much to control and this is just for a tutorial you guys know how to turn the, the uh, turn the turtle around so I'm not going to spend time on that okay so that's how the turtle knows which direction to face to drop items and stuff so I'm going to skip down to the bottom here where I've got my main loop and uh, so basically this looks like if you're familiar with the rest of my tutorials I always kind of run this loop it's the easiest I just repeat the following until a certain condition occurs, and that's I pull an event from the operating system of the computer, and if the event is a character event and the value is the X key, then I quit my program. So that's a really easy way to say if the person presses X, quit. Unfortunately, the way I wrote my function, uh, this doesn't work because it never gives time for the operating system to pull an event, so that's why I have to hit Control T. So uh, this didn't really work very well, but in most of my other programs it works pretty well. Okay, so what we're going to first do is we're going to face the farm. So he could start in any direction, and he's going to know which way to get to the farm. That's fine. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and, and grow wheat, and we're going to keep growing it until we get to some condition, and that's where we're out of seeds or out of bone meal. And then when that happens, we're going to run the store items function. So let's first go find the grow wheat. That is up here. And you'll see the grow wheat face of the farm. That's just in case for some reason I, I want to write different methods to do different things. And uh, but I always want to grow the feet, wheat facing the farm. And this is going to run in an, in a loop basically forever until I tell it to break out of the loop. And the first thing it's going to do is check the supplies. And all that check I'm going to show you that in a sec is going to say, um, do I have enough wheat? Do I have enough bone meal? If I do, then I'm going to select the seeds put them down, select the bone mill, put that down, and then har dig to harvest the wheat. And then I'm going to go check the supplies again. So I could just check it like every five digs, you know, make sure to have at least five and then mine five times. But since it's such a small program, I'm just going to check it every single time. Okay, and here's the check supplies. It's going to do, this is a get item count and you supply it with the selected slot. So no longer do you have to select the slot and then ask it for the count. You just you can just say how, my, uh, how many items are in slot number one or slot number two, etc. And I'm gonna say, okay, well, if, if the amount of uh, seeds is less than or equal to one, then I'm gonna return false. And that will tell my program down here to stop harvesting. And also do the same check for bone meal. Okay, so we remember after it does the grow wheat and the check supplies says, okay, I'm out of stuff, it's going to break out of this loop and it's going to end this function. And that's going to run the store items. Here's the store items function. The first thing it's going to do is face the seeds. So you remember it's going to face the farm and then turn one to the right. It's going to select the first slot and then it's going to uh, run a loop and it's going to check the item count of the first slot as less than 16. So this is where I was telling you you always have to have 16 seeds in the chest because it always wants to grab. Because before I was having a thing where it would grab like one seed and then it would plant one and then run. And then one, one more seed. And so that was really inefficient. So I was trying to make this more efficient and ended up 
causing it. It needs to have at least 16 seeds in there at all times. But no problem. Okay, so uh, as soon as it has, uh, it's going to run Turtle Out Suck, and that just pulls items out of the first inventory slot of a of a chest. And if there's nothing there, then the second, etc. It'll try to pull items out. Okay, once it has enough, greater than 16, it's going to end that uh, little while loop. And then it's going to go from slot 3 to 15. And if you look on the turtle, here's 3 here, and here's 15. So it's going to go through all the slots that are not the first, second, or the last. And it's then going to use this new function, which is really cool compared to this Friday 1.4. It's going to say, okay, let's select the third slot and then compare what's in the third slot to what's in the first slot. So it's going to say, are you seeds? Sure, I am. Well, if that's true, then it's going to drop the seeds in front of it, which is the seeds chest, because we're facing the seeds chest. Okay, um, and then it's going to go through the next one in slot four. Are you seeds? No. Okay, then I'll keep going all the way through 15. So basically that all of our seeds are going to be put into that chest. After that, it's going to replenish the bone meal, and that's doing the exact same thing. It's going to um, face the bone meal chest, select the second slot, and suck up and try to get at least 16 bone meal in there. Um, and then it's going to go do that loop again from 3 to 15, store any extra bone meal. We might have grabbed, you know, a whole stack, and we already had like a stack, so now we've got two stacks, so get rid of the extras. And then the last thing it does is um, iterates back again from 3 to 15. And anything left in those slots we can assume is wheat because we've gotten rid of the seeds, we've gotten rid of the bone meal, and so we should only have wheat left in those slots. And it'll put them in the chest. That's it, simple as that. that uh, it's going to run this pretty much forever until we run out of bone meal. Just watch a little bit more. I'm going to help it run out a little bit faster and you guys can see what it does. It's going to put the seeds in because it ran out, get some new seeds, face the farm again, then face the bone mill, and then put the wheat in there. Now it should only have seeds and bone mill. Cool. All right, so that thing will run forever. Uh, that's pretty much it for the farm. If you've got questions, just let me know in the comments on how that works. Um, I am considering whether or not to put the code out there, and probably what I'm going to do is um, have like a subscriber thing where for a very small uh, donation, I'll give you guys all access to the source code for all of my tutorials. I haven't really decided how that's going to work yet, so you're welcome to just pause the thing and copy the source. You know, I can't stop you from doing that, so go ahead and do that. Um, but realize that very soon I'm going to try and make all the source code available, again, for just a very small donation um, to get me to be able to keep writing these tutorials for you guys. Okay, so let's get into the other uh, turtle, as uh, the crafting and the melee turtle. Okay, so first let's look at the melee turtle. I have one of those right down here, and I've got a cool couple zombies, and maybe this is your shoot from your mob trap, or uh, this is where you have a bunch of pigs that you're breeding automatically. I don't know. Anywhere you can think of where you normally have to go kill a mob, and a lot of times you have to make like a crusher or something that kills them um, because you want the XP or the items. Um, well, let your turtle do it for you. So let me throw a couple zombies in here. And, uh, well, we might as well get a few, like, uh, some pigs in there for good measure. And uh, all we have to do is, let's look at the turtle. I'm just going to use the startup program again for ease. And all I'm going to do is run a loop. Uh, Ten times attack. That's all we're going to do, right? Uh, okay, save this and run it. Okay, and you'll see it starts killing them. Pigs, it kills in one hits. One hit. Oh, did you see that? XP came out. So it's not like a crusher where if you kill them without touching them, you don't get the XP. When the turtle kills them, you get the XP. A little overpowered, right? Yeah. So 
So why isn't it attacking 10 times? Well, I think it has to do with how fast the attack command goes. So let's do, I'm just going to run it like 100 times. And I'm going to sleep for a second in between every attack. Zombies, are you avoiding my... There they go. They're, they're hiding in the corners so they don't get killed. Alright, I'm going to rebuild this without glass. I was doing it just so you guys could see it, but it's a lot easier without the glass. That's a little better, so I just replaced that with stone to keep them in, in front of the turtle. Uh, so that's a little... Kind of a bad thing about the turtle is its range is only one block. You know, It's only going to attack what's right in front of it. But line them up all nice like this, and he just goes to town. Uh, it's about three hits to kill a zombie. I, I don't. I think a, a diamond sword can usually kill zombies faster than that, so it seems a little slow. Oh, you want to come meet my turtle? Come on, little pink slime, purple slime. Get him! Get him! Get the purple slime! <laughs> Oh, it's having trouble killing that. That's what I got this for. Okay, so let's look in the turtle. Look, it's got all the drops. Oh, even an iron shovel. So another nice thing about the turtle killing the mobs is you get the bonus drops. Um, clean that little guy up. So yeah, so it's pretty useful. I think you could come up with a lot of ways to make this useful. And it's not the most useful sentry because, you know, you'd have to move, attack, move, attack randomly. You can't really detect where the zombies are. Um, one thing I did want to check. Remember that game of Marco Polo we played? Well, it would be a lot more fun. Uh, I'll make it a crafty. I don't really care. Ah, oh, darn. I was hoping a turtle could kill another turtle. It does not appear that it can. I know it can mine another turtle. Yeah, I guess we just would do that. Oh, let's see. I want to go back to peaceful because this is getting annoying. Um, but anyway, yeah, you could put this in a mob farm. You could put it in a uh, anywhere you need to kill pigs, sheep, chickens, cows, uh, whatever you guys need to kill. Use your turtles instead. No durability. Attacks really quick. You know, I was putting it on a second delay, but if you don't put that delay in there, it's pow, 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 pow. So it can kill them pretty fast. Um, probably a little bit faster than you can swing a sword. No, I think you could probably kill them faster, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, the benefits are you get the bonus drops and the XP. So, that is a melee turtle for y'all. Let's look at the crafting turtle next. Okay, so the crafting turtle, remember to craft it. You just put a normal turtle with a crafting bench next to it, and you'll make the crafting turtle. You can also apply this add-on to any of the other uh, turtles, mining turtle, melee turtle, etc. And uh, the basics of it is the top left nine slots are a crafting table. And so you can put anything in there, and then you just uh, run turtle.craft which I have in the startup of this guy. And it will put the uh, result in the next open slot. If there's no open slots, I think it'll probably just drop it on the ground. I wanted to test that. Uh, give me a ton of wheat. Why are you not giving it to me? So what happens when we just have too much wheat here? Which could happen if, you know, you supply in the sky and weren't very careful with what you put in there. And I'm going to need milk buckets. Okay, so three milk buckets in here. What do you do if I craft it like that? 
Okay, so if there's no empty slots, it will just fail. I'm assuming it returns false if you're checking the program. But if we give it a slot, where's my cake? Hmm, interesting. Huh, so it needed more slots. What happens if we try and craft a second one? Okay, so a uh, correction on that. Good thing we tested it. It will not craft if the top right slot is full or any of these slots are full. I could put a cake there, what happens? Yeah, so to do the turtle as a crafting, you need to clear out slots 4, 8, 12, 13 through 16. So only have these slots here. And that could be pretty easy. I mean, you could have a chest similar to how I had this set up here. And you could send your turtle and say, okay, turn to the left. Oops. Uh, turn to the left and pick up some buckets. Turn to the right, get some sugar turn to the right again, get some wheat, and right again and get some, uh, what's the last item? Um, eggs. <laughs> and uh, then turtle.craft, and then select item slot four, and drop it up or something. You know, and you'd have to have a, some kind of system, to sorting system, but everybody has a sorting system, right? Um, but if you've got a nice sorting system, if you've got red power build craft, you're probably not going to use turtles to craft things. You're just going to use automatic crafting tables. But if you're playing just computer craft and vanilla, you know, you could use this as an automatic crafting table. Uh, it's going to be a little more hard. You have to program it in to go find the items and to make them. But uh, yeah, it could be real easy. You just do a um, kind of keep the recipe. So you know how in an automatic crafting table you kind of keep one copies for the recipe, the second one is what it actually builds with. So um, if you wanted to make bread, you know, you would go and say, you know, get some wheat, harvest my wheat, get it out of that chest that my other guy put it in there. And uh, it would, you know, grab items and you could put extras back in the chest and then call turtle.craft and you would only call oh interesting it crafts it all I'm gonna have to talk to the author on this one because I'm not sure how useful this is if I can't you know control what goes into what slot I thought I would just keep you know one copy and only cop craft it once but hmm you would have to be very particular to get the items in order and uh, I think if you would do select one go to the chest that needs to go in and hit suck select two suck select three sucked you know go through them all or and then craft it and then go back so maybe I'll write a pro quick program to show that working and then I'll be right back Okay, just a quick little program to show how automatic crafting would work with a turtle. Uh, this is a little, kind of a silly example, but you get the idea. Um, here I've got my crafting turtle. I've got a chest with iron, computers, and chests. Here I've got some coal and a disk drive with a floppy in it. What am I going to do? Well, let's see. Reboot the guy. You can see he's going to turn to the iron. He's going to suck it and then put everything back except for one. He's going to lay that out, he's going to get a computer, he's going to get a chest, and place the crafted item. We're going to boot that guy up, he's going to get some coal, and there he goes on his way. Get some iron and the slots required. Get a computer, get a chest, craft it, place it, boot him up. I don't know of a way to automatically boot a turtle. I have to click on him to start him up. If anyone knows how to do that or a trick to do that, that would be awesome. Because uh, then I could have self-replicating turtles. Um, so let's look at the code for this really quick. Wrapping up here. All it does. Oh, no, that's the wrong one.
<laughs> Here's what it does. It turns right. It turns the chest with the iron in it. It's going to select the first slot. It's going to suck up a stack. It's then going to get the amount that it got, so it might have got like 30 pieces of iron, and it's going to drop all but one of them. So if it got 30, subtract one, drop 29 of them back in the chest, because we only want one. I mean, you could grab 29, but uh, I only want one. That's going to do the same thing for slot 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Okay. It's then going to turn to the right. So now it's facing the computer chest. Uh, select the sixth slot, suck out a stack. There is, and then drop all but one of them back in the chest. Turn to the right. Get the 10th slot, which is now the chest, suck it in, drop all but one, turn the right again, craft it, select the 10th slot. Why am I doing the 10th slot? Well, if you'll notice, let's watch him. He's going to get iron, 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 a computer, and a chest. So when he crafts, you'll see that it appears right here. The turtle always appears right there. So the crafted item, if it uses all the slots, is going to go there in the 10th slot. Um, that can be different based on the recipe. So you remember if I did bread, it was wheat, 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 and the bread went in the first slot. So you're going to have to experiment with that. Um, maybe just you know cycle through all 16 slots and drop them, replace them. But um, that's pretty much it. Again, I have to boot the turtle up to get the startup program on the, from the disk drive, and there he goes. But I really like that automatic refueling. He just turns left, gets some coal. Uh, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm sucking up a stack and then dropping all but one. I think that's what you're going to really have to do. There's no way to say just suck up one. I've tried that. It doesn't work. For me, at least. Um, but anyway, so that's how you would do tur uh, crafting with turtles. Um, I think if you had a, you know, a huge wall of chests and you've sorted everything, and you could you could say go over five, up one, and get this item. You know, it could kind of have a completely automated way of saying, okay, if I need these items to make a cake, go get them, and then come back, craft it, place it, and I need these items, go get it. So it's, it could almost be like a logistics requester. It would just take a long time. It's not going to be fast. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to find an applicable use case of this. I'm here just to teach you how to use the code, right? Uh, so have we done everything? Yeah, I think we've used every turtle. Um, Really, again, the chopper turtle and the digger turtle, or the feller, I guess this called not very useful. Just use the uh, the miner. He does perfect well job. The attack uh, melee turtle is pretty cool. He gives you the experience and all the drops. And the uh, the farmer was pretty cool. He can till soil. There he is. And lastly, the crafting miner or the crafting turtle. Um, so yeah, let's go through the uh, 1.4 change list and just look at any other uh, things that have been updated, and then we'll end the episode. Okay, so computercraft.info is down right now. He's got too much bandwidth, so I think people have been hitting it like hard to download all the, the new programs. Um, but anyway, uh, so I went and Google and got a cache version, and here's the list of changes. You can go read these yourself, but some of them might be hard to understand what they exactly mean. Uh, before you had to extract the zip file in its own folder, now you can just drop that zip right into your mod folder. That's pretty cool. Uh, we talked about all those turtles and how to combine them. Uh, we talked about labeling and how you can still craft the label and it'll retain the label and all the programs. Um, the upgrade API has not been published in the wiki yet, so as soon as that's available, I'll try and uh, write some information on how to write your own peripheral for turtles. Uh, we did turtle attack. We collected. Uh, we used turtle.place a lot. We tried turtle.craft. And we did the turtle.drop. Um, okay. They can pick up items from the ground with suck. We did that. We did compare. And we placed signs. We refueled the turtle. He's now 16 slots. 
and bigger screen. So I think we've pretty much covered just about everything. We did the turtle.compare2. Uh, get disk ID, not a huge use. Um, there's two new programs, demo programs, that if you want to learn more about how to craft and how to refuel turtles, just go look at those two programs. There's also, they've updated the excavate uh, demo program. It can return back to a chest and it also has a, uh, you're supposed to use it with a melee uh, digger, I guess. Um, we talked about the limits on the space. Uh, we talked about how altitude uh, allows you to send farther with your modems. And uh, do, 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 do. if you sneak, uh, you can put a floppy disk right into the disk drive instead of opening up the interface and having to drag drop it. And um, some server fixes. So I think we covered everything in the new update. Um, if you guys have questions on anything or how to use it, I know the wiki is being updated each, you know, kind of every day with the new stuff. So right now it's hard to go find uh, how to use the new functions, but hopefully I covered them all for you guys. Uh, I'm happy to ask, uh, answer questions. If it's a complicated thing, like how do I write this program, you're much better off going to the computer graph forums because the YouTube comments are very difficult to try and track, you know, code and all that kind of stuff. And it's just easier to write that kind of stuff, take it to the forums. There are a lot of helpful guys that will reply to you. And uh, also, if you just say, I, I put a new message on the forums, can you go check it out? I'll, I'll be happy to go do that. Um, it's just a people are asking me saying oh I tried to make a program that mined and it didn't work I can't reply to you that in the in the my in the uh, YouTube forum or comments that's just way too ambiguous and, and too much you know to reply back and forth to so forum posts much better for that oh, as soon as they're up again <laughs> actually uh, or send me a private PM I can do that as well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed uh, computer craft 1.4. I look forward to seeing all the new stuff we can do with these new turtles. Um, feel free to send me a video on something cool you did or a program. Again, I do have plans to make all my uh, tutorial source code available at some point. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do that, so stay tuned for that. And uh, check out my other tutorials, and hope you guys have fun with Computer Graphs. See you later. Bye.